Perfect. What's good, y'all? It's your boy, just Chris, and we just two wave. You know what it is. If you haven't hit the like button already, make sure you do that. But you know I got to keep the relationship videos rolling. And today we're talking about marriage, right? And I'm talking about the truth about marriage and the truth that nobody tells you when you're young. All right. I'm going to tell you like what I've learned just watching other people, watching other marriages fall apart, right? We're going to start off with this. The divorce rate in the U.S. right now is 50%. All right. So that means if you got married today, there's a 50 percent chance that you are not going to be with that person at the end of your life. Right. And I think the thing that people get so wrong about marriage, because if you look at that 50 percent divorce rate, obviously there's something wrong. There's something wrong in the expectation. There's something wrong in the way that we're doing things. Or there's just something that doesn't work. And in my head, one of the biggest reasons for that now is everybody wants to look cool. Right. When we talk about marriage, when you're when you're a kid and you hear about marriage, what's the first thing you think about? You think about going to a wedding. You think about bridesmaids. You think about a ring. You think about flowers. You think about all the all the sort of glamorous things about the wedding day. And that's what everybody talks about. You know, when you hear people talking about marriage. Oh, yeah, bro. My wedding's about to be lit. We're going to have a bachelor party or a bachelorette party. I'm going to wear this dress. We're going to have this many bridesmaids. And everything kind of goes into wedding day. And that is like our conception. That's what we believe marriage to be. When we're young, just coming up, that's what you see even in movies, right? When they talk about marriage, we get married. When when a movie goes all the way through, right? And it's like a love story. At the end, they get married. Everybody walks down the aisle. Everybody's happy. And the movie ends. It doesn't show what happens after wedding day, right? Enough people don't sit back and say, look, hey, marriage is a whole lot more than wedding day. All right, marriage is a whole lot more than putting a ring on your finger and signing some paper. Because honestly... You know, we, we have this idea that and a lot of people have the idea that, all right, once you put a ring on your finger and you sign some papers, that something changes. A marriage is no different than being in a relationship. Like if you're in a relationship right now, and this is another thing I want to point out. And a reason why I think a lot of marriages end up failing is because people have this expectation that things just get better somehow when you get married. If you have a bad relationship, if you have bad communication, if you have a, a, a toxic environment within the relationship that you're in right now, getting married doesn't help that. You know what I mean? It's like marriage. And this is this is one thing I want y'all to take away from this video. If you don't take away anything else. Marriage is not what happens on your finger or on a piece of paper. Marriage happens in your heart. And I'm going to repeat that again. Marriage is not happening on a ring. Marriage is not, you know, signing a piece of paper and saying we're married now. We both have the same last name and we have kids together. Marriage happens in your heart, bro. Like marriage happens way before you walk down the aisle. Marriage happens way before you put a ring on your finger. Marriage is just in your mind and in your heart saying that I'm going to commit to this person. This is somebody who supports me. This is somebody who I'm willing to work with. This is somebody who I am willing to like willing to build something with. Right. Because if you think about it, there's a lot of couples out there that might be together. You know, they've been together 15 years, 20 years, something like that. Right. And they might not physically have a ring on their finger. You know, they might not have signed papers and saying, I'm committed to you and, and, and the state recognizes us as one entity, but they may have a stronger partnership and a stronger marriage than somebody who does have a ring on their finger. So don't let the ring fool you, man. Don't let the paper and the ring and all the glam and, and all of the just sort of nuanced things of, of marriage fool you. Just because people have rings on their finger doesn't really mean they're committed to one another. And that's just the honest truth. And I think that's why a lot of the marriages uh, nowadays end. That's why we have a 50 percent divorce rate, because if you look at it, people are getting married for the wrong reasons. They get married because they want a nice wedding or they just feel like they're getting older and like, oh, well, it's almost time for me to get married. I don't really like this person. You know, I really don't click with this person, but I'm going to get married because, you know, like I'm 35 now. And I think, you know, this, this is the time my family's telling me to get married, bro. Like really, really, really think about it. Marriage is something that is lifelong. There's not something where you could just pull out and just be like, hey, man, I mean, you can, you can get a divorce, but the, the, the stress and the amount of energy and all that that it takes to get a divorce after you've made a commitment to somebody, that's a lot, especially if you end up having kids together, pulling the whole family apart, man. That's probably one of the hardest things you can do in life. All right. So really look at this as this is a this is something I'm going to take throughout the rest of my life. 
Think about it like getting a tattoo. A lot of people get tattoos, right? But most people, before they get their first tattoo, what do they do? They take a whole lot of time to design it. They think about what they want. They do all these things before they go get that tattoo because once that tattoo is on you, that's permanent. You know, and even if you say, okay, it's not really permanent, Chris, you can take it off. You can laser it off. What happens when you laser off a tattoo? You're always going to have a scar there, right? You're always going to have a part uh, of something like something in your life that's going to remind you of that marriage that you were in. All right. So, you know, biggest thing I'm going to say right now is if you're thinking about getting married, make sure you're doing it for the wrong, for the right reasons. I was about to say the wrong reasons. Make sure you're doing it for the right reasons. Don't do it so you have lit pics to put on your Instagram. Don't do it because your family's telling you to do it. Don't do it. And I know I know that's a little bit harder. Going back to the family piece, I'm talking about more so, you know, marriages that happen out of love, marriages that happen out of partnership. If you're in an arranged marriage situation or you're in a in a different sort of marriage situation, that's a little bit harder to navigate. But I'm saying if you're marrying somebody because you think you love them, really take time to sit back and understand, is this person somebody who I really love? Do Are, are we really compatible, right? And I'm not saying you should have a, a huge list of what you're looking for in somebody, but do you align on the big things? Religion, uh, you know, finances, children, family, um, just just extracurricular activities, things that you guys like to do. Do you like to do similar things? Are your lifestyles compatible? Are you somebody who's very into movies and, and like you like to sit in the house and your homebody? And are they really into being outdoors and going kayaking or something like that? Like that's stuff you really got to ask, because I think if you can really get down to the core things, you know, and make a list of the core things that you want in a person. I'm not saying make a frivolous list with hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of qualifications, because if you do that, you'll never find anybody. But if you make a list of core things that you want in a person, core qualities, all right, kind of like one of the, some of the, the qualities that I listed, that's going to give you an opportunity to understand if you are compatible with somebody long term. Too many people, you know, get together and they don't really ever ask that, those questions. They don't have those conversations. You should be able to have those conversations with your partner and talk about them openly, man. Before you even think about, you know, locking yourself into something, understand that, all right, look, it's got to be a lot deeper than you're cute, I'm cute, we cute together, let's get married, all right? And maybe some people have done that, and maybe that's been the method for a lot of people, and maybe it's worked. But just looking back at that marriage rate, 50% or divorce rate, I should say, 50% divorce rate shows that something's wrong. So don't do it for the look. Don't do it because your family told you. Don't do it because your friends told you. Don't do it because you feel like you're getting older and you need to have kids. And the only way to do that is to be married. Right? Take the time because you're going to be so much happier even if you take an extra year, an extra two years, whatever. And you just figure out yourself. You figure out what you're looking for. Figure out if, if you're really doing this because you want to do it. And that leads me to my third point. Sometimes marriage isn't for everybody. Like traditional monogamous marriage is not for everyone. All right. And it's like you have to understand that, you know, don't if you feel like marriage is not for you, you're like, bro, I can never see myself with one woman or one man for the rest of my life. Don't force yourself to do something that's not in your heart, because like I said, marriage occurs in the heart. OK, marriage is a choice you make and a choice you make in your heart to be committed to somebody else to the utmost extent, right? And if that's not really in you, if you're like, yo, I'm, I'm the type of person I like to switch it up. I just like having casual relationships with a lot of people. If that's you and that's what makes you happy, don't hop into a marriage because it's going to make your family feel good or it's going to make your friends feel good or it's going to make you feel like you did something that you were supposed to do, all right? Because doing things that you feel like you're supposed to do, but your heart's not in it, it's never going to last. It's never, ever, ever, ever going to last. All right. So I just really want to put that out there because I was having a conversation with my homie and he was pretty much saying, man, like, you know, he was looking, he's looking at marriage, you know, he wants to get married, but he was like, you know, I really, really, really want to take the time to find exactly what I need. And I respected that, man. Like, I really, really respect that because he was like, I feel like, you know, if you really take the time, you understand those core values, you understand what you're really looking for and you're able to find what you want. And when you reach at a point where you're ready to commit to somebody in that way, right, you've actually done the work on yourself. You've done the work in getting to know them. That is what builds a foundation for a marriage that will last and for a marriage that won't fall into that 50 percent category.
Look, I'm going to end right here and I'm going to say this. This is going to be my last point. Marriage is for life. All right. Your wedding is one day. Your wedding is one day. So if you're getting married just because you want a $10,000 ring on your finger and you just want to show everybody and you want some cool Instagram pics and you want to have a lit wedding day and wedding is going to be great. That's cool. Right. But I'm going to just tell you right now, if that's the only reason why you're getting married, your marriage is not going to last. If you have no chemistry with the person that you get married to, if you don't really know, you're not fully committed in your heart. If the marriage hasn't happened in here, if the marriage hasn't happened in your heart, the marriage on your finger is not going to work. I'm going to say that one more time. If the marriage ain't happening in your heart, the marriage on your finger, the little symbol, the metal band on your finger, it means nothing. It means nothing. So make your marriage mean something, man. And, 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 I, and I understand marriage is not for everybody. I'm not here pushing marriage. I'm just telling y'all the truth. And I think this is the truth why so many marriages fail, bro. It's just because people don't, they don't take the time to really understand what they're committing to. You know, it's cool. It's so easy to get caught up in sort of like the, I call it like the Disney effect, like where everything's just, you're so focused on a wedding. You're so focused on just the hype and maybe the lust that you feel at the time, or maybe the infatuation that you feel at the time. Taking time to date somebody, get to know who they are and get to know if those core values align. And it's saying, look, I really, really want to commit to you. I really feel like we're compatible. I really feel like this is something that I can work with you on throughout the rest of our life and we can support each other and I feel supported by you. If you can answer all those questions and say yes to everything, then by all means, get married. Go ahead. If that's your prerogative, right? And that doesn't mean that the marriage is going to work. There's probably people who had like a lot in common, right? A lot in common and probably thought that they knew each other, you know, perfectly, but people change over time. You know, and that's another thing. Like people change over time. You got to be willing to accept that. Like people are you're not going to necessarily get the same person that you married for the rest of your life. And you got to be cool with that. Right. But really take time, man. If y'all watching this video and y'all thinking about getting married, my young men, young men, young women, whatever you are, I don't care what gender you are. This is something to, to take into account on both sides. Understand what you're committing to. And at the same time, make sure that your marriage is occurring in your heart before it occurs on your finger. Right. Don't do it for the for the likes. Don't do it because your family told you. Don't do it because you think it looks cool because you feel like you have to stay true to yourself. Do what works for you. If marriage is for you, get married. If it's not, don't just don't put yourself through that stress. Don't put yourself through that heartbreak. Don't put yourself through that struggle if you don't need to. All right. So I definitely feel like I have more to say on this topic, but I lose my train of thought sometimes. But um, I would love to hear what y'all have to say about marriage. And if you're currently in a marriage, I want y'all to drop hella comments down below on some things that have helped your marriage, some things that have hindered your marriage. And if you got divorced, I also want you to drop down below, um, you know, some of the things that led to your divorce so everybody can have a conversation and understand and see, man, because I think younger people like me, 24, I'm 24, you know, I know that one day I do want to commit to somebody for the rest of my life. Um, but I also know that I'm still learning. I also know that, you know, there's a lot of things that I need to understand about myself. And there's a lot of things that I need to do to make sure that that marriage occurs in my heart first. You know, so let me know what y'all think. Um, drop your comments. If you disagree with something I said, hey, that's cool. Let me know, too. I would love to love to hear your perspective. But as always, it's been your boy, just Chris. Make sure you smash that like button, become part of Two Wavy Gang, and hit that subscribe button. We're going crazy on the channel. Q&A coming very, very soon. I think we'll wait till we hit 2,500 subscribers. Uh, but I will catch y'all in the next video. Peace.